But we begin tonight with more options for small businesses and nonprofits recovering from the storm. Thank you so much for joining us. I am Wale Ali. Kimberly Hunt has the night off. Starting today, they can apply for emergency response grants, but as ABC 10 News anchor Aaron Dickens explains, not all small businesses qualify. And the owner says luckily no fish died in the flood, but there is still a lot of cleanup here to be done. The owner says he's going to have to spend tens of thousands of dollars. The biggest issue now is with any kind of flood damage is the aftermath of mold and bacteria. Bacteria left behind from the water that filled his store and the entire shopping center three weeks ago. All these stands have to be replaced, which means breaking down these ecosystems. As Matthew Thomas inspects his walls and floors, he says any money from the city would help. It would be nice because it's better than nothing. That would help pay back for all the shop backs, mops, chemicals, everything I had to go out and buy out of pocket. But according to the city's guidelines on who gets the grant, Thomas would not qualify. The application says your business has to have 12 or fewer employees. He has 16. Many businesses in the shopping center are in the same boat. It shouldn't matter how many employees you have. If you own a business that was affected by it, there should be some kind of resource. I don't see why there's a cap on it. The city says up to $2,500 will be given to each applicant, or a total of $5,000 if you are in a promise zone or opportunity zone. You can fill out the application online, or you can pick one up. Just go to the lobby on the 14th floor at Civic Center Plaza. We have all the information on our website, 10news.com, under the resource tab. Aaron Dickens, ABC 10 News. Well, the city tells us the grant was allocated by the mayor and city council. It was intended for businesses with 12 employees or less. These smaller businesses tend to have less resources or cash on hand. That's why the city will be able to allocate the funds so quickly.